Thank you for tuning in to the Belleville Crokinole Challenge, a Tier 1 NCA event, and today we have a special matchup for you. Devin Fortino from North Bay, a Crokinole newcomer, heard about competitive Crokinole just a few months ago and thought he'd give it a shot. Well, here he is at his first tournament in the top four facing off against world-class Crokinole competitor Andrew Hutchinson, who has been in top contention in every tournament he's played in so far this tour, and most recently won the Turtle Island Crokinole Championship just last month. People are excited to see how this race 2-9 will shake out, so let's get right to it. Fortino will shoot first in this round, giving Hutchinson the first hammer of this game. Now, not much at all is known about Fortino's Crokinole game, aside from the fact that he is one heck of a 20 shooter. In the afternoon eight pool, he scored 158 20s over 10 games, and he also scored the most 20s out of anybody in the eight pool that afternoon, which includes Justin Slater, which includes Hutchinson, and other great 20 shooters. So already, Fortino has pulled off an impressive feat at his first tournament. It's also very unprecedented to see a newcomer make it to the top four at a tier one tournament like this. Hutchinson, the first to miss, Fortino up in the 20s cup and content to keep play on his side of the 15 region. Hutchinson trying to catch post, but to no avail and Fortino pushing through a little bit. Not quite enough to give Hutchinson an opportunity, but Hutchinson hits and sticks, perhaps trying to draw Fortino in and nice, we see him roll out, catch a post, get his disc pulled further back. Hutchinson forced to shoot through the post now. Hitting and sticking, trying to pull play a little bit closer in. And Fortino pulls it even further back, very nice shot. Hutchinson might be able to tie the round if he can keep this disc in the 10 on his last shot. We'll see if Fortino is able to keep it back and oh, rolls a little bit close. If Hutchinson can catch a post here, pull it back in the 15, he could win the round by a measly five points. We wait for the final call. We get the head nod from Hutchinson who takes the first round. We see this. You can barely see it on the screen, but both players approved and Hutchinson just squeaks out that first round, draining the score two to zero for Hutchinson. Right back to this 20s game. Now Hutchinson, we do know a little bit about. He's had a very successful season up to this point. He's been in top contention at all the tournaments he's competed at. He plays third in World Crokinole doubles alongside Jeremy Tracy, fourth in World Crokinole singles, and most recently won the Turtle Island Crokinole Championship. Players now halfway through their shots. No mistakes out of either. Hutchinson's last shot seems to just slide in there. And oh, Fortino gets a leaner. See how Hutchinson deals with this. Plows through and scores a 20. Going up now in the cup. Up two 20s on Fortino, who is unfazed. Keeping the pressure on at the very least. Trying to keep up with Hutchinson. Going long on the right side of the hole, and never mind! Fortino, the newcomer can hit follow throughs. That is dangerous. Down to the last shots. If either players mess up, it would be very costly. But alas, we have a 7-20 round. Very impressive performance from both players. See Hutchinson deal with that leaner, then Fortino follow up a few shots after with an amazing follow through. Back to Fortino with the lead, Hutchinson with hammer, right back to this 20s race now. I did have a chance to uh, chat with Fortino about his uh, experience with Crokinole coming into this tournament. Apparently he had heard about the competitive Crokinole scene just a few months ago and figured he would check out the Belleville Crokinole Challenge. And I'm sure glad he did because people are excited to see how he does in the semifinal match and so far putting up quite a good fight. That first round was close, second round was tied, and right now we're right back to this very aggressive 20s race. He also said that he practices once every few weeks with his brother, perhaps explains his very strong 20s game, although we see him go a little bit long, and Hutchinson pulling a very nice roll away between the posts. 
Portino considering his options. Ops to play to the inside. And oh! Fortino, unfazed by the defensive attempt of Hutchinson. Gets the off, off the post, beautiful shot. Even yet again in the 20s cup. Again, a mistake at this point would be very costly for either player. So both looking not to mess up on these 20s. And as they've been going, I don't think we'll see it. We might be seeing another 7-7 tied around. And we get it. A little chuckle from Hutchinson. Second tied round in a row. We see that defensive attempt from Hutchinson. Very nice placement. Nothing wrong with that, but Fortino deals with it with ease. My oh my. Now 4-2 for Hutchinson. And again, right back to the 20s. Something I appreciate with the top Crokinole players as they shoot, you'll notice they really take their time with their open 20s. It's not just difficult shots that they uh, slow down for. It's every every open 20 they slow down for it. Fortino going a little bit long. Hutchinson trying to push through, but leaving a backboard for Fortino now. Who converts? Now evening up the 20s cup from his previous mistake. Hutchinson now to go long. See how Fortino deals with this. Oh, drops a 20 for Hutchinson. An unfortunate mistake. Looked like he was trying to roll away between the posts or maybe outside and just had an unfortunate bounce over the center with Hutchinson's disc, resulting in that 20 for Hutch. Hutch now keeping play to the outside. Maybe an opportunity for Fortino to get in, although it's a very thin line. Could be tough to actually get a 20 off this. And oh my lord! Whew! Devin Fortune Fortino scoring that beautiful 20. Making it rain. Hutchinson going long again. I need a, I need a moment to recollect myself after that shot. Whew. Wow. Fortino, if there is any questions about whether he belonged up here, those questions should be completely out of this game. He's putting on one heck of a performance, almost getting another angle in there, leaving backboard for Hutchinson, but even if Hutchinson gets this, my bets are Fortino just scores an open 20, giving us a third tied round. We'll see if my assumptions are correct. And yeah, there it is. Almost lipped out, but it came back. That is the third consecutive tied round. See this beautiful shot from Fortino. That was fantastic. This backboard from Hutchinson resulting again in another tied round. Let me know in the comments if you've seen any competitive match that had more than three tied rounds in a row. I don't think I've ever seen that before. This is truly, truly neck and neck. And we are right back to this 20s race yet again. Once the camera flips back, you'll see Ron Langell, Rotten Ronnie, watching in the background. He has had a very successful season so far. He's been in the top pool for every Tier 1 tournament. He's in top 16 for World Crokinole Singles, top 12 for the World Doubles, and made a pool at the Turtle Island Crokinole Championship. Was also featured in the Belleville A pool. Players now a little over halfway through their shots. Fortino with 520s, unrelenting, and Hutchinson goes a little bit long. See how Fortino deals with this. Very nice roll away. Looks like he was kind of picking that up through the match, and now he's got it. That first one, he dropped a 20 for Hutch. The second one, he was a little bit off. That third one, he got right outside of play where Hutchinson didn't have much to work with. Hutchinson trying to hide here. Fortino to shoot through Hogan's, and he gets it with ease. Wow. Hutchinson trying to get in, but not many options there. Fortino now tied in points, winning that round. 5-2-5. Five, five. What is happening in Belleville right now is insane. Let me lay it out for you. Andrew Hutchinson, world-class Crokinole competitor. He placed third in World Crokinole doubles this year, fourth in World Crokinole singles, and he won Turtle Island, where he had to beat two-time and current World Crokinole champion Connor Ryman. And across the board from him is Devin from North Bay. 
who thought it'd be fun to check out a crokinole competition who is hanging with world-class crokinole competition. Not just hanging, catching up, trying to get a lead. This is amazing. And unrelenting with the 20s, again, we're halfway through. Neither player is missed. This is a show. Hutchinson coming up short. Cortino hitting and sticking, not leaving Hutchinson a lot to work with here. Hutchinson trying to push through, but unable to get the off. Cortino content to stick there. Again, not leaving Hutchinson anything. Fortino does have hammer. He has two discs on the board. And Hutchinson loses his shooter. If Fortino can get this 20, he'll all but have won this round. And for the first time this match, take the lead in points. Hutchinson going for a follow through double 20, just misses it. Fortino with the final takeout, finally getting a lead in this match. The newcomer. Wow. Now one round away, we see that beautiful attempt from Hutchinson just barely missed to the side. And oh, opening up with a leaner. Hutchinson taking his time to consider how to deal with this. And oh, Hutchinson is two for two for getting 20s off of leaners. And that one was spectacular. Now left with the backboard, he has a chance to go up two in the 20s cup, which would be a major advantage to have in this round. Now the pressure is on Hutchinson because if he loses this round, he loses the semi-final match, but absolutely unrelenting at this point, holding on to that advantage. See Eric Miltenberg in the background now watching. He had a huge hand in uh, supporting and organizing the Belleville Crokinole Tournament from my understanding. I want to give a huge shout out to the Quinty Region Crokinole Club and all their members for putting on such an amazing event. Players now over halfway through their shots. And we haven't seen a miss since Fortino's first two mishaps at the beginning of this round. Hutchinson with that shot just sealed this round. One shot away from a perfect round two. Can he do it? Hutchinson gets the smile. That's got to feel good. And definitely a big confidence booster to uh, catch up, get tied in the points, and do so with a perfect round could also possibly mess with Fortino though he's been relatively unfazed and calm through this match but man Hutchinson going long but Fortino losing his shooter we are potentially one round away from the greatest upset in the last decade of competitive Crokinole Hutchinson with a 20 we're down to a six disc game we're right back to this 20s race, and everyone is wondering, will we see this newcomer go on to the finals match, surpassing one of the greatest Crokinole players in the National Crokinole Association? Or will Hutch be able to pull through in this final round? We're down to the last four shots. Again, no more mistakes have been made since those first two. Four 20s for each player. It could come down to this. Unless we get another 7-7 seven, seven round. And oh! No! Hutchinson goes long. Will Fortino push or he will play defense? He, wanted, he wants to make sure not to give Hutchinson any opportunities and leaves that in a nasty spot. And oh! Hutchinson to the outside. Fortino hits and sticks and that, that might be it. There's no options for Hutchinson. At best he can peel and hope Portino misses but he's barely missed 20s much less a valid shot and that is it history has been made Devin Fortune Portino making it rain 20s defeating Andrew Hutchinson in the semi-final round wow that was an amazing performance congratulations to both players because that was one heck of a game to watch absolutely love that from the booth and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I do. Tune in as the next semifinal match will be coming out very shortly between Jason Beerling and Justin Slater. I can also say that is a very exciting match, but I gotta say again, history was made in the semifinal that you just saw. So if you like this, make sure to like, comment, share it with the world, because that is awesome. Subscribe 
for more Crokinole content. My name is Garrett Tracy, and make it a great day.